Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're going to be looking at Philippians chapter 2, uh, verses 16 through 18 in just a moment. Uh, but do you ever wonder if your effort has been wasted? Uh, you know, I remember being invited to help people move and I showed up ready to load boxes and they didn't have anything packed. And I was like, I just wasted my time. I'm leaving. Call me when the, ba- the boxes are packed because I don't mind loading boxes, but I'm not helping you pack them. Uh, but do you ever wonder if your efforts have been wasted? Maybe your effort in your job or your effort with friends trying to maintain friendships. Maybe you wonder about your efforts in ministry in serving God. Or maybe you wonder about your efforts in parenting. See, Paul addresses his investment in the Philippian believers in our passage today. So picking up in verse 16, Paul says, Holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain, even if I am to be poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrificial offering of your faith, I am glad and rejoice with you all. Likewise, you also should be glad and rejoice with me. Now again, Paul's in prison and he's facing trial and he may be executed because he's a follower of Jesus and he's telling everybody about Jesus. So that's what's on the line and that's what he's writing about. You see, Paul preached and birthed the church in Philippi. I mean, that was the first church in uh, Europe, technically. And, And so he went there and he preached and he started that. He knew these people personally. He loved them. And he says, in effect, even if I die for the gospel, poured out as a drink offering is like my life is sacrificed. He says, it was worth it to see you saved. So I'm going to rejoice. Whether I live or I die, I'm rejoicing because your life has been changed by the gospel. And then he offers them a challenge. He says, and you also should rejoice with me. Now, uh, we just read the words in the Bible and we're like, okay, well, that sounds nice. No, what Paul's saying is, even if I die, you should rejoice. And they're like, no, we love Paul. We want him to come back and teach us again. We want, to, we want to see him again. And yet Paul said, my efforts investing in you are worth everything, even if I die. Wow. Now, for me and you, I want us to think about this. Paul says, look, my efforts in, in seeing you come to a life-changing relationship with Jesus are worth my life. And and we invite you, we invite people to join us in this life-changing ministry of Jesus all the time here at Calvary. Uh, And and look, uh, whatever it costs you is worth it. If you join with us in leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus, whatever the cost is, is worth it to see your family and your friends and your neighbors come to experience uh, the salvation that Jesus offers and Jesus alone offers people. So I pray that we, you and I, will continue in this mission of life change and won't let anything get in the way, no matter what it costs us. Right now, in America, it doesn't cost us anything, but it may one day. And when that day comes, we need to rejoice. I hope that encourages you on this beautiful Friday. Have a great day.